Meta has once again flexed its censorship muscles, but this time, the target isn't just any user. It's Tamir al mishal a journalist with Al Jazeera who revealed Meta's questionable handling of Palestinian content. Mere hours after his investigative show Tip of the Iceberg went on air, al mishals Facebook account boasting a following of 700,000 was deactivated. In last Friday's episode pulled no punches. It featured Eric Barbing, the former chief of Israeli cybersecurity, who admitted that his organization actively monitors Palestinian posts and then goes knocking on Facebook's door, urging content removal. True to form, Meta always obliged. But the episode didn't stop there. A panel of digital and human rights experts were unanimous. Facebook consistently imposes a double standard that disproportionately silences Palestinian voices. Even a member of Meta's own oversight board couldn't dispute the inconsistency, acknowledging that corrective recommendations have been made. So what does Meta do in the face of these damning revelations? Rather than engage in meaningful dialogue, it opts for the easy way out, shutting down the account of the journalists who had the courage to spotlight this systemic bias. No explanation given, no warning, just a sweeping act of censorship. Responding to the move, Al Mishal said this appears to be sheer retribution. It's like they decide to shoot the messenger for delivering a message they didn't like. The show itself has employed a meticulous experiment to quantify this bias, creating parallel pages with pro-Palestinian and pro-Israeli perspectives. The results were as expected, but still shocking. A stark disparity in scrutiny and enforcement between the two. The unsettling silence from Meta not only indicts the company, but also casts a long shadow over Israel's role in what is being perceived as a clear and massive orchestrated censorship campaign.